Well, the Flagstaff City Council is meeting as we speak, and one of the top issues up for discussion is the proposal to either ban the use of plastic bags altogether or implement a fee for the use or for the continued use of these bags. Now, recently, reporter Matias Tatimes looked into the issue and has this report on how the outcome of this decision will affect the Flagstaff community. Flagstaff City Council is open to considering a ban on plastic bags, and while there are no clear details yet on what this might include, there are plenty of opinions on what the ban could mean for Flagstaff. While there are potential benefits, Flagstaff Mayor Jerry Neighbors cautions that there is still a lot of ambiguity concerning the scope of the ban. I think there are a lot of questions about this, and that we need uh, information from uh, various sources. What do the stores think about this? What impact will it have on the stores exactly? Are we talking about an absolute ban, or are we talking about a discouraging fee of 10 cents or 15 cents per bag? Even though there are concerns about the potential ban, George Yaskovich, owner of the Flagstaff Farmer's Market, has already moved forward with plans to phase out plastic bags at his store. We got a hold of some recycling bins. Uh, we started offering recycling of plastic here at the store. We went out of our regular bags into a recycled, heavier duty plastic bag. And then when those were gone, we had paper bags. We're utilizing a lot of our smaller cardboard boxes for larger orders. Regardless of the details of the ban, Councilmember Eva Putsova warns that the heavy use of plastic bags does come with a price. Uh, a lot of people think of uh, plastic bags as something that we get uh, in a grocery store for free, but there is cost associated with uh, plastic bags. Um, Flagstaff Sustainability Commission um, assess the cost to the community at $150,000 annually. A lot of communities, uh, entire states have done that. Um, and I think it's something very sensible uh, to do. For NAZ Today, this is Matias Tautimez.